All right, you guys are welcome. My name is Samuel Linus, and we'll be going through this particular course. And I have this assumption that if you're taking this course, or if you're watching this particular video, you're just getting started in tech, or you're just getting started to learn how to program, right? So the aim of this entire videos will be for us to learn front-end web development. But I always have this particular ritual where I love to take courses like this with the assumption that you don't know anything. The only thing that you know how to do right now is probably read and write and you have internet connection and probably a PC as well, right? So that's what I'll be doing, right? I don't have this assumption in my mind that you don't know anything and by the end of the day, I want to get you guys started in the world of coding and in the world of programming, stuff like that. Now, in this this particular video what I'll be doing is introducing us to the different roles that are available in any software development firm right so but before we get started one thing I would love you guys to do um, you can go ahead and subscribe to Nedi Eye's YouTube channel do that because um, the entire video is going to be on a playlist so I'll be recording them and be dropping them as I record them as well so you want to subscribe and feel free to share other people to as well uh, uh, make use of this opportunity to get started in the world of coding and I hope that at the end of the day you guys are going to love this entire course so let's get started so what I have here in front of me today is key roles in software development firm so let's take a look at some of the key roles some of the key roles that we have here is product design right product designer so a product designers oversee the design product the design process of a product right so these guys are the ui ux designers that you guys see online so once we have a particular software or an app or a website that we want to build the first guys that work on that particular project are the product designers and their main aim basically is to come up with the prototype of that particular application then after they are they are done with that job the next guys take the job and these guys are the guys we call the front-end developers and front-end developers is and they develop front-end web development is the development of the graphical user interface of an application i love to call front-end developers are the guys that come up with what you see whenever you're using an application be it mobile application be it a desktop app or be it even a website right they are the guys that actually write the codes the html the css the javascript and so on and so forth that you guys actually interact with when you're visiting any particular application be it web or mobile then the back-end developers when they are done with their own part of the project they move that particular project to the to the third guys which are the back-end developers and the back-end developer is responsible for writing the web services and APIs used by front-end developers. In other words, these back-end developers are the guys that connect the front-end to the database. Now, if you're filling a form, it's the front-end developers that actually develop their created the form in a way then once you enter your name your email address and password and so on and so forth and you click on that particular word submit something happened right that particular data of yours is moved from that particular front end and stored in a database so the back end guys are the guys that actually handle that data they carry that particular data store in the database by creating an api so an api stands for application programming interface so they create this particular api and they help the back end serve the front end right so by then you're done you have the full thing and at the end of the day you guys must have ahead of this particular world called full stack developers some people claim that they are full stack developers so who are full stack developers full stack developers are actually the guys that know both front end and back end so if you know both front end and back end you can be called a full stack developer and the another key roles that, that i have here is a devops engineer so devops basically stands for development and operation so devops engineer introduce process tools and methodologies to balance needs throughout the software development life cycle from coding and deployment so that is what they do right so these are the guys that actually ensure that okay through throughout this particular development process um, um we are managing the part of the application that is in development and the part of the application that is also in production so when they say production in this form of influence it simply means the, the part of the application that is available to the users right so the DevOps engineer actually handle that particular process it depending on the sort of development methodology 
that are, that are, they are actually using. In most cases, most people use agile uh, uh, um, methodology of development, right? Which simply means continuous development and continuous deployment. So a DevOps engineer will handle all of that. Now, there's other tech roles I just want to mention for the sake of mentioning it. Probably you're just watching this particular video and wondering, okay, apart from this particular four rules that I just mentioned, is there any other tech rules? So I'll mention them. The first one that we have here is the software testers, right? So who are the software testers? As a software tester, you'll be involved in the quality assurance stage of software development and deployment. In other words, before a particular application is deployed, you test it for bugs and you validate that particular software. And if it passes whatsoever testing process that you guys have, then you ship it out and deploy it for to the users. Then the next thing that we have is the technical writers, right? So a technical writer is someone who transforms complex and technical difficult written materials into clear and concise documentation. In other words, they come up with software documentations, technology te documentations. We must, you might have probably go, gone through a documentation of a particular application or so on and so forth before. These guys, they come up with that particular documentation for people to easily consume that particular um, 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 application. Now, the, th the third role that I have here is the product manager. So, who are the product manager? A product manager is a professional role that is responsible for the development of products for an organization. So, a product manager basically they manage the entire process of that particular product, right? So, these guys ensure that the engineers, the developers, the designers, and everybody is doing what they should be doing at the right time and delivering according to what the timeline. And the last one that I have is the data scientists. The data scientists are analytical experts who utilize their skill in both technology and social science to find trends and manage data. One of the best way I love to explain data science is the fact that they basically um, um, run through a series of data sets in order for them to to be to, to be able to what to come up with reports that can probably predict the future right so that's what i that's what in my layman explanation of data science that is what i will explain it as right so now but what we are trying to do in this course the area that we're trying to learn in this particular course is the front end web development part of this whole thing right so i'll start again you have an idea as the product owner the first guy that work on that particular idea is the product designer after the product designer comes up with the prototype, they transfer that particular project to the front-end developers. When the front-end developers come up with the client side of the application, they transfer that particular project to the back-end developers. The back-end developers come up with the database and so on and so forth and transfer that particular application to the uh, um, DevOps engineers who now deploy and host that application to be accessible to everybody online. Right. So that being said, where do you come to play? You come to play in the area of what? Front-end development, right? So this particular course is concentrated on front-end development. So in the second video, in the next video, I'll be talking about how we can get started as front-end developers. So see you guys in the next video.